Good morning, everyone. I'm here with the one and only Jocelyn D. Mayfield. Right there. We are uh, running her to school, and then I am headed to the hotel that I've rented for the day so I can do this intensive Bible reading day. It needs a better name, Bible-a-thon. That's how I feel about it, too. I'm gonna get her dropped off. I'll see you over there. All right, so I'm here. I'm gonna run in, check in, and get going. Got a full little kitchen here, which is great. Got a table, got a desk, couch, which were all things I wanted so I could move around during the day. Got a nice little bathroom area here. I mean, I think this whole, I, mean, I, I think I'm gonna stay in the residence inn every time I do something now. So here's the deal. I'm not gonna take the camera, but I am gonna run over to Walmart real quick and grab some coffee filters because I need to make coffee. They have coffee, I just wanna use my coffee. Also, here's my view for the day. Isn't that nice? You can see 95 over there, but I think that's a pretty little view. All right, so I'm gonna unpack my stuff, which is literally only like four things. Focus, there we go. Now it's focused on me and only me. Oh, snap. Anyway, I'm gonna, unpack my stuff and get going and disconnect from the world. It's gonna be awesome. listen to audio Bible that I've downloaded on my my phone I downloaded it so I can disconnect from the internet and everything so I won't be disconnected all day long and I can listen to it right there like so Paul an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God according to the promise of the life that is in Christ Jesus the reason I use the audio Bible is I'm gonna use it while I read and that's just gonna keep me moving all day because it can be really easy to kind of veer off a little bit so we're gonna use that to kind of stay going with it. So I'm gonna eat some lunch real quick. I have so far read the Gospel of John, uh, Galatians, Ephesians, Colossians, 1 Timothy, 2 Timothy. When I get done eating, I'm doing Hebrews, 1 John, Proverbs, and Romans. I'll be honest with you, this is different than the last time that I read because the first time I did it, not the last time I read the Bible, but the last time I read a lot in one day because since then, I have become a student of the Word, and so today, the last time I read, I felt like I read, and I just got so much, it was nothing. Like, I was so full, I didn't have anything. Today, I feel like I'm just getting, pow, just hammered with stuff as I go, and so it's almost just keeping up with everything that I'm getting that's really kind of a, a challenge, so, but yeah, does that mean... Super, super good so far. So, I'm gonna eat and get back to it. For what it's worth, I finished doing all my reading about 15 minutes ago, and I literally just did all of those shots just for the video. 
All right, so, um, pretty intense day. I mean, I just read a lot of Bible. I mean, I'm talking a lot of it. So I'm gonna pack up. I'm actually gonna pack up and get out of here. Uh, I mean, I'm pretty full of stuff right now, but I will say my brain is, you know, it's on fire <laughs> just from, from do, taking in that much information today. But man, how great breaking in this new Bible, this um, ESV classic reference, calf skin, getting used to this. I, I think I really like it. We're gonna see how I feel about it long term, but I really like that. I've got some other Bibles I really like, so. Let me tell you one other takeaway from the day. I've been wearing skinny jeans all day long. I brought a pair of sweatpants and shorts to change into because I thought I wouldn't be comfortable. And just after losing all of this weight, um, 55 pounds in four months, I have been comfortable all day long. I haven't come out of my skinny jeans. I didn't think, because I really don't do it at the house very often. I'm normally like in shorts or sweatpants or whatever. I just, because I'm, I still think of myself as being a bigger guy. I guess I think that I'm gonna be really uncomfortable in jeans for a long time because I was so big that jeans were like cutting into me and it was really, really uncomfortable. Um, and now I'm in skinny jeans. So I'm also thinking like I'm a big guy wearing skinny jeans. But the fact is I'm not. I'm a slim guy wearing skinny jeans. That's what I'm talking about. All right, I'm gonna pack up, get out of here. See you later.